Alright, what's up guys, Peter Jaguar is here again, and we're starting off our new season here in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Let's get things going early on here. Philip Rivers trying to make something happen. He gets flipped into the air and falls down hard. Fourth and ten. My opponent is going to be going for it in a nice bat down here. So we have the ball in the red zone in this game. We want to get points on the board early. So here we go. Jadavian Clowney shoots a gap. We get knocked back a few yards. Then we have seven blockers here, but it is Clowney coming off that edge again and taking another sack means we do have to settle for a 51-yard field goal. This one just clears the crossbar, but it is good, and we have the lead. Now on defense again, the Legion of Shroom, Brandon Browner with the interception. Good coverage there, and let's go. We're making this happen. This LOS is going to be doing work this season. And here we go, DeMarco Murray pressing through to a guy. Getting us into good range. Fourth and inches. I left to go for it. And there we go. Michael Crabtree holding on to the ball. So here we go. Second and goal. And there is Crabtree making a really nice Chris Brown and holding on to the football again. So it's a TD. 10-0 here. He's trying to pound it with Matt Forte on offense. Good idea given that his passing hasn't been working too well. But now on second down, he's going for the pass. And Will Hill can't hold on to this one. He was diving, almost got it, but he couldn't quite hold on. But this time it's Janoris Jenkins making the pick. And this is going to be a pick six. No O-linemen are running Janoris down. And he's celebrating, getting in 17 nothing. You'd think that after this, he'd realize not to throw towards my secondary, but that's Brandon Browner's second of the game. We're getting pretty much just more free gifts at this point, but dang, his D-line is ferocious. In 4th and 19, I tried to take this field goal just a bit out of Mason Crosby's range. Probably a mistake on my part, so he has the ball at midfield, and it looks like we're off sides here, which sucks because it would have been a hat trick for Brandon Browner. He didn't make that interception. Great coverage again, but instead he gets bailed out. Adam Jones just a little bit offside. Come on, Pac-Man. And he's trying to take advantage of this, moving the ball up the field, wanting to put some points on the board before the half. There's another good read, and he's powering up the sideline, getting out of bounds at the 5, trying to finish it from here. He's got this man wide open over the middle of the field on the drag route, and he's in. And now here, I'm sitting next to my brother saying, if I get hit, I guarantee I fumble. He is going to find a way to make this a close game. And what do you know, that is exactly what happens just seconds later. Autogram gets sacked, and of course he recovers it. We are forcing him backwards with our own sack, but still, he's trying to find something now. Fitting it into a tight window there between two guys. Picking up the first down. Five seconds here. He wants Pater. And that's what he gets. An in route. Great call there. And it's V-Jax in the end zone celebrating. We are only up three in the second half. Nice shed by Otto Graham, but then as we're trying to escape the pocket, it doesn't matter anyway. That's Clowney's fourth sack of the game. Third and 23. I want something down the field. And instead, Clowney gets his fifth sack of the game. This is crazy. We're punting it on fourth and 33. And what the heck? Yes, this punt got blocked in many years of playing Madden. I can count on one hand how many times I've seen punts blocked. And this one actually goes out of the back of the end zone for a safety. Crazy play, very rare occurrence, which is pretty cool to see regardless. And Janoris Jenkins is like, whatever, we had to give them the ball back. You know what, I want to score some more points. And he's becoming the leading scorer on the team today with the second pick six. Hitch is open here now, though, so he's picking up a first down, only down eight points. So obviously, if he can score a TD and get the two, it will be tied up. And this pass is incomplete. He has to go for it on fourth and short. But you know what? Man going everywhere. We can't cover all of this. So he's picking it up, nearing midfield, trying to keep making things happen. There is that same route he did earlier. Weird play action, but it sets up correctly. He's getting further and further into our territory. Now down the field. Browner, let's go. This time the hat trick counts. And he's going up. That's why he is awesome. He's got the height, ability to be in the right spot and hold on to the ball. And then while I should be killing the clock, I'm passing it, trying to have some fun, being silly. 
So we actually do have to punt him the ball back. Still a close game. And here we go on the return. Can he make something happen? No. User tackle. We're on point. Still trying to lock everything up here. He's looking down the field and Janoris gets his own hat trick. Crazy there. This one is pitched back. We're flipping it around. Being crazy. I don't even care at this point. Trying to pitch it again. It's a fumble and he recovers. So even though that first one was an illegal forward pass, they're giving him the ball. So anyway, whatever it is, what it is in Paul Pazlesny gets an interception. I don't even know how many I've had in this game. At this point, we're throwing it. It goes out of bounds. And I decide, screw it. We're punting from here. I want to give him a chance. No more interceptions. So here we go. Defense on the field again. Let's see what he's doing. Throwing it down the field. Testing my user's nut. Man, I really wanted that no sir with Honey Badger because it's been my AI doing most of the work. Instead, he drops it and then we're way out of position and he is gone scoring a TD. Could have had the pick and been in great position. Instead, a long touchdown. He's going to be going for two, wanting to tie this one up with 42 seconds. A drag route. Does he have the man? Yes. Holding on to the ball, a couple guys there, pause and myself, but he gets it. Now we're trying to make something happen. This is our job to get points, to be clutch, to win the game. No, we're fumbling, but whole line recovers, but we're still 50 to 60 yards out of field goal range. He's sending heat again. Delaney Walker makes a great catch in the air. We're calling the timeout here. Still got one more in the bank as we want to pick up some more yardage. Here is Jermichael Finley over the middle. There goes that final timeout. 21 seconds here. And I decide to make a little bit of a gamble. Give it to DeMarco up the gut. And look at him trucking ahead to the 32-yard line. We spike it with a couple seconds now. Potential game winning field goal would be crazy if he blocked it, but no, this one is up. And money right down the middle. Let's go. There is the game 27 24. And we're coming out with the victory. That is it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more of this. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. Subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team content. Let me know in the comments section what you thought of the game. Crazy one there. Awesome performance by the Legion of Shroom. But anyway, guys, I'm out. Peace.